Coming up next, it's a UFC light heavyweight division collision. specialist like this as a striker. You have got to avoid the canvas, I would think, at all. Yes, you have to. And if the striker gets taken down, he needs... Oh! Huge right hand! He's in trouble. He's getting lit up. He's got him hurt here. A couple of shins here being tested early. Oh! Well, he has certainly found the range and stamp... Oh! And this guy move on the ground. Another nice transition there. Such a high-level grappler. You don't see that very often. Well, you know, I don't like the gi very much, but I have an appreciation and a healthy one for these type of transitions. You can tell he's been in a gi at some point in his life in the way that he moves so freely. I'm skipping jujitsu next week, too. <laughs> All right, bottom fighter here. Maybe looking to hip escape, DC. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. Man, isn't it fun to watch this dude work on the mat? He's unbelievable how fluid he is in his motions on the mat. Well, you see all the grappling repetitions here, just beautiful movement, seamless transitions on the mat. Over and over, these guys are doing things that you see in every jiu-jitsu gym around the country. Boy, if you don't...